Good morning, you bastards. King Arthur is not happy. This is a rant. This is some miserable moaning old bastards about, you know, isn't there? Old people moan. There's a meeting with the council on Thursday and the old man at the end on the walking sticks. You just wait till I get in there. I'm going to tell him. I said, well, I won't fucking be there then. Hey! I'll go down and sit outside having a smoke and put my earphones in, play some music. <coughs> well, I listen to Tangerine Dream, Klaus Schultz, Michael Garrison. And he won't let anybody interrupt it. Just a minute while I'm talking. He's got a big, deep voice. No, I won't be there. I have to get wound up. And I'm allowed to say something that will upset him. This morning, Monday morning. What date is it? Uh, 28th. Yeah, he says, I looked out my door this morning, there were one light on. I said, Len, the fucking clocks went back this weekend, the timers need resetting. Right? And how long will that take? I said, oh, they'll ignore all the other 21 courts in this area, and they'll fly here to reset our timers. I said, it's somebody like you in every court, never happy unless they're moaning. And he didn't like you, he was about to say something, and I walked away. He came in and slammed the door, moaning old. Bastard. I mean, the clocks went back. So the time has got to reset. Simple as that. End of story. <sighs> Honestly, oh yeah, people moaning that the weathermen got it wrong. Well, they were erring on the side of caution because in 1987 it wasn't Michael Fisher's fault, he was only passing on the information. But he assured the viewers that a hurricane was not on the way, on the way, and it hit the UK badly. So this time we were all pre-warned. And with the weather being so erratic all over the world and a very strong jet stream, they estimated the storm would either hit the middle of the UK or the south of the UK or France and miss the UK altogether in the event it hit the south coast. And people are saying, Ooh, all that force and nothing happened. Well, uh, fuck's sake. Forecasting the weather now all over the world is a nightmare. You lot in the uh, USA, I'm sure that your weathermen often get it wrong. But it's not their fault. You cannot predict what the elements are going to do. So, you know, people love having a moan. I don't think I moan that much, do I? Do I? Who said yes? Who said yes? King Arthur will send his knights to the round table over to who, whoever said yes, and they will behead you. Right, I'm going out. I've got rid of Andrew. He didn't need to go over last night because, in the event, the storm, which was not a hurricane, the hurricane is formed in the warm seas of the Caribbean. This came from Canada, very deep, low pressure area, and uh, they couldn't estimate exactly what part of the UK it would hit. It's, and it's no good slagging them off. I mean, they all say Michael Fish made a fool of himself, but he only passed on the information he was given. But he will never, that's the weather forecast of Michael Fish in 1987, he will never be allowed to forget that. No, which is most unfair to him. But he does a weekly forecast on netweather.com in front of a webcam. He is retired now, of course. And I monitor netweather.com as well as metchet.com, ukweather.com, because it's an interest of mine. Meteor... Me, me, oh, God. Meteor... Come on, say it. Meteor... Big breath. Meteor... 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 Meteor <laughs> I better give up. One last go. I monitor a uh, uh, great interest in meteor meteorology. <laughs> uh, that's it, I'm not saying it again. Right. Uh, hey, come here, look. Oh, fuck it. I'll put the compo hat on. Right, I'm going out. And if I bump into that old bastard at the end, moaning, I should say something else. I, I, I will upset him. Yeah. 
stupid old fart. Hey? Right, I'm off. Run over. Bye. <laughs> Bye.